Hillary Clinton has taken credit for accelerating the Clinton's remarks were caught on video at the Manhattan Women's Club The Wing on Tuesday night, where she continued to cast blame over her loss in the 2016 presidential election. Someone at the talk asked, in an alternative reality, if you were president today in 2018, do you think the I think my losing probably accelerated that wave, but the wave was coming. Clinton went on to discuss a referendum in Ireland to legalize abortions, which is scheduled for May 25th in the heavily Catholic country. This is not just an American phenomenon, this is a global one. So yeah, I think it definitely would have happened, she said. The flood of allegations against Weinstein in October 2017 triggered the Clinton has long been close to Weinstein, appearing with him at movie premieres and relying on him for campaign cash. Just days after her loss in the 2016 election, Clinton dined with Weinstein at Rouse Restaurant in Harlem, and was planning a TV documentary about the campaign with him until allegations of sexual misconduct surfaced against him, the New York Times reported. Weinstein's relationship with the Clinton family dates back decades, he donated $10,000 to Bill Clinton's legal fund when, as president, he faced impeachment in the Monica Lewinsky scandal. Weinstein continued to be a prodigious fundraiser for Hillary Clinton, and had close ties to her campaign even after actress Lena Dunham and magazine editor Tina Brown warned Clinton aides about his treatment of women, according to The Times. In other remarks at Tuesday's event, Clinton revealed she believes things will only get worse in the U.S. if Donald Trump remains president. Clinton urged her audience to vote in the midterms because, I don't think we've seen the bottom yet. You can march from now until doomsday, but if you don't elect people who agree with you nothing will change, she said. A huge line of women formed around the block to watch Clinton, who was still wearing a cast, after breaking her wrist in India, speak at the Women Only Social Club. Clinton gave a wide-ranging talk to the crowd that discussed everything from Putin and Pete Gate to being vilified by the president. When you've been accused of everything like I have and you realize people actually believe it, it's really depressing, she said. I don't want anyone to go through that. To be lied about and vilified as damaging to our body politic, Clinton added as she touched on Trump's lock her up chance. Trump still yells lock her up. Does he think I'm president? Someone also needs to tell Fox News they can't impeach me, it doesn't work that way with a private citizen, Clinton told the crowd that, it was, very hard to watch Trump be president, but that she realized it couldn't be, paralyzing. It worse than I thought it was going to be, and I thought it was going to be bad, she said, adding she, encouraged and admired the staying power of the resistance. Clinton also took aim at Russian President Vladimir Putin, saying he was, determined to destabilize the West, and calling him a, world-class misogynist. She touched on the hacked emails by WikiLeaks, and the Pizzagate conspiracy theory that came from it. It spread like wildfire, she said of the claim members of the Democratic Party were running coded emails to run a secret child sex ring in the basement of a pizza place. You look at that and think, that's ridiculous, she said. But you have no idea how many people will believe things that are presented as news, and Clinton once again tried to contest Trump's allegations that James Comey was trying to protect her in the FBI investigation into her emails. I've never spoken to him, I've never met him, I've never kissed him, she said as the audience burst into laughter. When it came to regrets, Clinton said she wished she had given more early public support to the gay marriage issue. I was out for the issue, as best I could be, thought, but I didn't think the country was ready for it, she said. Thankfully, I was proven wrong, Clinton credited black turnout for Roy Moore's loss in the Alabama special election. On a final note, Clinton told the crowd to never let the past drag you down. Don't let anyone else put a stop to your dreams, she said. It's the best form of revenge by making it clear you are not going to be stopped, you are not going to be disrespected, you are not going to be undermined, I hope my legacy has contributed to that in some way. Clinton's chat comes a day after her daughter Chelsea revealed in a late night tweet that one of her children had a small health scare. Chelsea Clinton took her daughter Charlotte to school Tuesday morning, less than 12 hours after announcing in a late night tweet that one of her children had a small health scare. But Chelsea, 38, looked to be in high spirits as she took her daughter Charlotte to school on Tuesday morning, less than 12 hours later. It's unclear which child Clinton was referring to in her tweet on Monday night, as she and husband Mark Misvinsky also have a one-year-old son named Aiden. Our family had a small health scare tonight. We are so thankful to everyone who took care of our little loved one at every moment. Thank you, she wrote on Monday night. Clinton did not reveal what the emergency was or whether anyone had to go to the hospital.